Cobb, we started to look at inquiry methods in the social studies classroom. And inquiry is a very meaty process where we are asking students big questions about history and other disciplines to get them thinking more deeply about the content matter. So now that we've been working on inquiry in the social studies classroom, we've joined forces with our English language arts teachers and that's been very, very powerful because there's lots of efficiencies that we can enjoy as we work together. It benefits the students by hearing the message in stereo. What we realized in social studies, it's literacy skills. It's reading and writing. That's what I'm having my students do when they analyze primary and secondary documents and we're writing. It is all of the skills that she teaches in language arts. It helps from a language arts perspective, those inquiry stations, because it, they're able to gain that social studies content through conversations with their peers. In your folder, you've got a bright yellow or a green sheet. Take that out. So the idea is in every station you have inquiry prompts. We want you to think about whatever document you're working with and then you just respond to it. You take the document, whatever it is, we had video clips, mm -hmm. we had uh, pictures, we had actual text, mm -hmm and we gave them the stems or the sentence starters and um, for example we did a paired text where both of the documents were about human sacrifices but it had two totally different viewpoints on it. Mm -hmm. So we had two people doing one document and two people doing the other. It asked them to say two words to describe what your text is looking at for human sacrifice, or what would you sum it up, mm -hmm. describe it as? And then they had to, when we use the words, compare now your thoughts. So that was how we did it. All it is is just way to get their conversation and collaboration started. You've got zones, okay? Does that make sense? Like you've got zone A and zone B. So we're gonna look at zone A. What is this telling us? Because remember, our question, the Aztec, should historians emphasize agriculture or human sacrifice? If you are C1 and 2, or document C, your prompts are up here at the top. If you are D, your prompts are down here. Does that make sense? Because the prompts kind of go with the pictures. Got it? Is there a right or wrong answer for this? It is what you observe. I'm going to set the timer for two minutes and individually you are going to respond to your prompts. I know you may not have written a lot down, but did you observe? Yes. Okay, so what I want you to do now, you've got your partner, right? Now remember how it works. If your partner says something and you just think, oh man, why didn't I think about that? You ask your partner, may I borrow your idea and write it down, okay? So let's take two minutes. You're going to talk with your partner and then you will share with the entire group. Because think about it, this is put it into him and has blood on him, so that may be like he use that to sacrifice him. Hey, can I use that? Uh -huh. Sure. Alright, so this is where y'all differ. So, when you said they were making a fish cake, and you said they were seeding the land. Now, they might be seeding the land right here, but I think they're making a fish catch on zone B. So you might want to add that to yours and ask them can you borrow your idea. Amen. <laughs> All right, right now, we're going to take two minutes. If your picture's C, you're going to share with D and vice versa. Got it? Does that make sense? All right, go ahead and do that. You're kind of sharing so your people and your group get an idea about yours. B, I saw them making a weave on like an island, which possibly to make another one of the islands. Mm -hmm. And then in zone C, I saw like an impersonation of a god. Right. right there. From now on, the documents that you are using are going to be in your folder. If you need the colored pictures to reference, that's fine. But you're going to be annotating on your documents. Or in some situations, you're going to be watching a video and there is a sheet in here to be doing that with, okay? 
Okay, so well, instead of the horrible picture that's really scary, we can do this one, which depicts one building. Yeah, yeah exactly. They got everything good. They got the irrigation system with the co corn cobs, chinampas. What do you think a king would want to know? I think he would want to know if they were powerful at all, you know, if they had like an army and if they had riches. I think a king would want to know like what's dangerous about them yeah. and what's good. This is, is both. And because it explains how it happens uh -huh. That's and very a part true. of the reason why and they why. do it. Happens. Yeah, it, it, it says a lot about their culture and what they believe in. See, and that would maybe show him that um, there are a lot of advanced croplands and they could use that idea or show Dean like maybe scare him away or something like that. Yeah. Um, the, the sacrifice. sacrifice. Okay. So, and they just put a lot into it and everybody worships the king and the god when they raise the heart up. Okay. You we want to know about the good stuff about them. But we also want to kind of know about the bad stuff. We want to know. Like, if we sent both of these pictures to them, he would see that for this one, that they're pretty brutal and that they would do anything for their gods, like without hearts for them. But they could also see they're very knowledgeable in um, in agriculture and how they have crops, like how they grow crops. They um they express their their beliefs through human sacrifice, and they um actually they actually like um that's actually who they really are. Like you to know something, you have to know their religion. You have to know who they are. You have to know how they do things, and they do things by human sacrifice. And then if yeah, the king I'm, wants to learn anything about the ag culture, then people just pick the plants and take it to him. Yeah. Yeah, or, 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 and not only that, into the description and because, not only that, and not only that, um, he like, the king is dangerous, like human sacrifice is dangerous. Like if you go there, there if they capture his Spanish and kick theirs, they ended up going missing, he's gonna know human sacrifice. And the he's king gonna know the what happened leader. to them. Yeah, the king being the new leader is probably gonna be the one sacrificing everybody. Yeah, I think zone eight like, is a why good they should need to sacrifice it or like why they need to and why it's important to the Aztec's culture. Yeah, because yeah, like so zone A yeah, like, is like, like, to know represents the scene. And mm -hmm. I know that the king actually wants to document the Aztecs. Okay, you know what you can do because we're about halfway through? Have you agreed on something? Yes. 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 Zone oh, cool. All right. All right. But that picture. Okay, so really what you're doing is you're taking this, you're doing this whole picture. So you oh. think they should be doing human sacrifices, right? Yes. So I want you each to write down why you think the king needs to know about human sacrifices. If that's what you want him to know about this group that you conquered, let me tell you why you want to do this. Because when you go into your writing phase, you can take some things directly from this. You know, they said, this made it easier for me. And a lot of them mentioned talking to their peers, hearing someone else's ideas, them pointing out things that, that you know, they said, well, their partner noticed things that they didn't even notice. And that's what it's about. Yeah. It's about them coming to the realizations. Mm -hmm. Agriculture, really, okay, they're good. They're good um, with agriculture, but I think that Document D would be better because it shows the inside of their culture. Wow. But I think it should be C because I, that shows how how advanced they are yeah. and oh. what, what happens and how advanced they are. So if I was Cortez or something? I mean, King Charles. The Aztecs, yeah. yeah. But read who who are you writing it to? The King Charles. Yeah, you're yeah. going it to the I King. I would send I would send C so he would know how advanced and how how in the world that they are right now because I think that that is advanced because I don't think that anyone else could have thought of that but them. All right, I let me tell you something. What I'm going to let you do, if you don't agree on it then you can each, like if you two want agriculture, you two want sacrifices, or you three want agriculture and you want sacrifices, then you can you can choose that, okay? So once you talk, talk about it and get the reasons, but I mean, think about it, okay? When I was doing the background information, she had brought um, in an Aztec myth. Yes, because we are currently in our mythology unit, um, so I was able to complement what they're doing in social studies and not 
shy away from my content. It, it fit perfectly into what we were already doing already. How about a myth? Would we, would we look at the Aztec myth a little bit differently than we would an informational piece about the Aztecs? Yes. Yeah, probably, right? So depending on what the text type is, it may determine you know, what we're supposed to be gaining from the text or how we overall analyze that text in the first place, right? Topics like, um, like if you're reading an article about, I don't know, bears being good hunters, the topic could be bears. And the main idea would be the fact that they're good hunters. There you go. I want you to flip your pat over to the back. There should be a blank side. There you go. And I want you to now break down the writing prompt. Tell me what the purpose of the task is, who the audience is, what the topic is, and what the text type is, okay? Which picture would I want? right? Which picture would I want if I were the king? So audience does matter, right? Because if you were sending the picture to someone else, maybe you would have chosen a different picture for a different reason, right? Good. Um, okay, my so favorite thought that we this. need to give a, a good first impression because showing that we sacrifice people won't really show that we're like really good. But showing the agriculture and how clever we, they were for the Shinampas might like make their reputation behind. Yeah, did you hear what he said? He, a good first impression, right? It's a king. This is royalty, right? We want to get a good first impression. It's a the fact that the kids can see the relevance of the social studies content across all subject areas, I think, is, is important for them because then they, they see the value in learning the information. The skills married to the content is what we need in the 21st century. So when you marry the inquiry process, with the content, you're really getting the best of both worlds.